Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel for another day of Vlogmas? So, us is an annual thing. Christmas is encroaching on Halloween. I'm not really mad about it right now because it also means that um, the Diamine Inkfant calendar is here. It is in stores today. Hooray, hooray, hooray. And this is the Inkvent Green calendar. It is 25 days of ink. You get 24 12 milliliter bottles, so they're quite small, but you'd be surprised how much, you know, how long it lasts. And then day 25, you get a 30 milliliter bottle. Um, so there is that. Um, I have had Inkvent last year. I will link to the playlist. That was Inkvent Red. I did not have Inkvent Blue. I know a few places where I can still get Inkvent Blue and sometimes I'm kind of tempted. But um, yeah, Diamine will release these in full-size bottles. They come in only one size, like special glass bottles. They look a little bit different than regular bottles do. So um, I've got a couple of different Diamine bottles here. This is Eclipse. This is a standard ink. This is the big bottle. I believe this is 50. Uh, I think there's even 80 milliliter ones as well, but this is 50 milliliter. I'm not sure if there is 80 milliliter. I think there is. This is a, also a 50 milliliter. That is the other design of bottle they have. That's purple pizzazz. And then this is an ink vent. This is Winter Spice. This is from the red edition. But the blue edition bottles look exactly the same. So my assumption is that once these guys are released in full size, they will be in this kind of bottle as well. This is one of my favorite inks of all time, by the way. Um, last year they were released mid and April. So I'm guessing it'll be the same for these, but I have not asked Diamine, so I have no idea. I'm literally guessing now. If you want to keep this bit pristine, because you want to journal with it, which is I, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to open these every day. I'm going to cut off the top of the box and then I'm just going to cut out bits and journal with them for spookmas and do like daily journaling. More spooky journaling. Um, yeah, this is the back of the box. I shall... Uh, reuse lots of bits of this as well. Quite like the art. I do think it's the same every year, just in a different color. But then you can just open it up up top and pull everything out. And um, yeah, if you want to find the right day, you can just look at it here and um, yeah, find it fairly easily. So these are all the colors. As you can see, tiny bottles, big bottles. These are so handy. Uh, I like to take these along because they're plastic, they're lightweight, they hold enough ink to uh, see you through refill emergencies and such. So um, yeah, awesome. I've, I've taken small ones of these to school so many times last year. Um, I will take big ones as well, but if I have the small bottle option, I am definitely here for it. I'm going to put this aside because I have swatched all of these inks so I can show you which is what. So I have my trusty ink journal, which is a Maruman Kroki white page one and a square format. This was written in Pentel brush pen because, or sign pen, whatever they're called, uh, because I didn't know what colors would be in there. Um, I kind of assumed there would be greens, but the ink fan green, uh, the name of the color actually refers to the color in this guy, the big one, in uh, the blue, it was blue, in the red, it was red, and now it is a green called Best Wishes. So that is mainly what the color of the ink vent refers to, because last year we had ink vent red and it had very little reds in it. Now, spoiler alert, there are much more greens in it than reds last year. But yeah, so let's get started. These are actually per day. So day one was Bliss. Um, everything was swatched with my Kakimori dip pen, by the way, which is this guy has a brass nib and you can do this kind of swatch and um, write with it. So no pencil or fountain pen necessary. No, Bliss was a, <laughs> was a really, really bad start for me. I mean, it's, it's nice enough color and I'm sure at some point I will paint with this, but um, I am not excited about this. And it's not just 
to me personally, I mean, if you love this, no shade to you, obviously. Um, but it was pretty dry as well, which isn't great. Then Eulalog for the next day was actually quite nice. There's some brass shimmer in it, but it's not super in your face. So that's really, really nice. Of course, if you don't want the shimmer and you just like the color, just don't shake the inks and leave the shimmer at the bottom and you will get very, very little shimmer, if any at all. But yeah, the color is quite nice. It is, again, mostly a painting brown for me because this is not a brown I will see myself gravitate to and write with. Obviously, if, if you don't already own a ton of inks, like most fountain pen people um, do, Inkvent is great because for 90 euros, I paid 90 euros for mine, you get 25 inks. And sure, some of the bottles are really small, but to start out and just, you know, dipping your toe in the fountain pen ink and stuff, it's actually ideal. And if I didn't already have a whole lot of browns that I love, I would purchase a, a, the big one of this one immediately. Now, Solar Storm. Um, that was the first of the Chameleon inks. Chameleon is new for this year, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, politely, please. And um, yeah, it has this, it, it isn't just shimmer. It's like this ultra fine micro shimmer. So instead of just like kind of have some glitter in your ink, this is just this super, super fine sparkle. And you know, it barely shows up. It shows up better in some others, but in, in this one, it doesn't really. So I'm not entirely sure what the point is of uh, of this chameleon shimmer, but I'm, I'm sure some people will love it. I, I don't care for it, but I also don't mind it. I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me, just like shimmer. It's not a deal breaker. If I like color, I like color. Now, this is really nice for painting. Um, will I write with this? I'm, I am not here I'm for that blue life, so no. But just because I like other colors to write with better. Then um, the first of the scented inks is spruce. I'm just going to smell this to see if the scent still lingers. It is finally gone. But uh, so yeah, basically if you write with it, the scent will linger for only a few days and then it will be gone. But spruce stinks to hell I'm back oh my god it, it smells like this I wrote it down it smells like this artificial soap you know the really stinky overpowering headache inducing artificial scents you get in cheap shower gels that's what it smells like and it's just rubbish otherwise nothing wrong with it I mean it's really nice green Again, I will paint with this for sure. Spiced apple, same story. It's a nice, nice deep dark red. Uh, I like it. I'm also not here for the red writing life. Also, the, the red I like the best is from last year's Inkvent, Red Robin. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've i been... If, if I'm uh, in a bind, I will, I will use this up for sure. I mean, I do write with burgundies and this is very burgundies de adjacent. Wow, words. So um, yeah, I do, I do like it. It's just not on my purchase big bottle list, so to speak. This, however, is, I mean, this ghost, I mean, I, I mean, they had released the ink names beforehand. So I knew all the names, but I didn't know what shade they were. And... <laughs> I mean, if you've seen yesterday's video, that was the sneaky ink I had in there that I didn't want to name, the multi-shader, and... Ah, uh, my heart. I have, I mean, this this is an insta-purchase. The second these guys are available, full size, I will be purchasing Ghost. I kind of feel like if Neko Yanagi and Byakuyu by Sailor had a baby, it would be Ghost. Um, it has, I mean, maybe not Neko Yanagi, but um, yeah, it's this nice legible gray because a lot of these multi-shaders are just a little bit on the light side to actually write with them. I don't know how well this will be legible on cream paper. I haven't tried it, but on white paper, it's there. And it's also so beautiful to paint with and to write with. And yes, this is an insta-buy. And also, um, oh, I nearly said Sailor because Sailor is known for their multi-shaders. Um, Diamine can do really, really, really good, really nice multi-shaders. 
And they did them last year as well. Ash was multi-shader, not as popping and potent as this one, but there was a definite pot, well, there is a definite potter's pink and green umber undertone to Ash, which makes it the ideal gray to paint buildings with and such. But this guy, I mean, this could be a sail ring. If you just swatched it on a, on a piece of paper and showed it to somebody who knows their inks, they might actually mistake this for a sail ring unless they no ghost, obviously. But yeah, so I'm just like, Diamine, please, please, more multi-shaders. I mean, I don't care for the chameleon. I don't care if you add a scent. Multi-shaders, that's what I want to see. More multi-shaders. Spoiler alert, this is the only multi-shader. Alas, alas. Then, another green ink, which is uh, this really... Is this an army green? I don't know. Um, it's kind of like... Um, the other one was called spruce, but... This is more sprucey to me, like, you know, pine needles. But um, yeah, it's just, it's a shimmer. But again, the shimmer doesn't really, really pop. And um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's pretty dry. So that is that is what it has against it. But for painting, that's not really noticeable. So um, <laughs> I'm glad I just want this as a painting ink. This is also why I buy Inkvent so many colors to paint with. Just like Jingleberry, I mean... I do quite like this. I can I can see myself for a journal spread dipping in this and with my uh, kakimori dip pen or like an empty fountain pen, just you know to write with this for like bits and bobs because it is it is very jolly and cheerful and summery and yeah I mean not something I would purchase but I'm also not mad at having it. Same thing with cardinal. It's a nice deep bright red. Um, it's a, it's a good color, it, it definitely very useful. And if you are here about those red inks, I mean, Cardinal and what was the other one called? Spiced Apple, they're definitely good ones. So there's that, also very Christmassy. Now, um, Dusted Truffle, it's definitely more olive than um, Sailor 373 from the Ink Studio series. But it does remind me of it because it's just so dusty. But I quite like it. Um, again, not a color I would immediate, immediately go and buy. But I can see myself writing with this. I mean, it's 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 just a really, really nice color. It's nothing super exciting, but it kind of pops because it's just, just you know, I like these dusty colors. I also like this noxious green apple TV. I mean, <laughs> it has a really good shading to it and it is just dark enough to be legible, but it, it also gives me like Halloween vibes. I mean, if there's anything you, if, if you're wanting to get Twisby Glow Green, you know, this fountain pen, and you're looking for a match to pair it with, Apple Teeny is your friend, my dude. I mean, I have Kin Mokusai in mind, and Kin Mokusai is going to stay in there for the rest of eternity. <laughs> but uh, I also, I mean, I have a spare of these, and I am seriously tempted to fill it with Apple Teeny. Um, I'm not gonna, but uh, it, is, it is mighty tempting. Now, speaking of matching with Sailor Inks, I, I really love Memory Lane. It is such a, such a nice purple. And yes, there is Shiver. And I always said there was no way I wanted to put Shiver in a demonstrator because it just seems just such a nightmare to clean out. And for those who don't know, demonstrator pen, this is a demonstrator. You basically twist this up, put it down, obviously without the cap, in your ink, and then turn it back up, twist it back up. And then I have shorts where I feel... Uh, stuff so I will link one down below but yeah so it's basically a pen that allows you to fill it directly with ink rather than use cartridges or cartridge converters but yeah I always said I wouldn't fill um, a demonstrator pen with a shimmer ink but I'm just I'm, I'm gonna get this guy and I'm gonna leave the shimmer at the bottom and just suck up the ink because it's just such a fun color and I want to put it in the upcoming glow in the dark twist be the glow purple so i that one is gonna get color match so that is my plan this is one of the two i really really want maybe there's more but those i really really want um upon a star i really like this shade i would actually write with this with my dip pen and i would actually consider because i have a few pens that have blue in them 
Um, I would actually consider one de once they're empty, replacing the color that was in them with this guy because this is really pretty and I, I quite like it. Um, because it's this, it has these grayish undertones and kind of teal, and it's just not a boring blue, so that's great. Now, Tree Kings, my husband, Bert, he's so here for Tree Kings. So once I am done with it, I am giving it to him because he loves this. Personally, I feel like Diamine is, has just made another dupe of Brandy Snap and Golden Honey. Brandy Snap is a golden ochre, and this is a yellow ochre, so they are not exactly the same. This is Brandy Snap. Uh, also, this is swatched with a brush versus a uh, dip pen, so there is a difference. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, here we go. This is um, Nostalgic Honey by uh, Chemical uh, Teranishi Chemical Industries, and that's also very similar, but that, that is more orangey. Even I don't own Golden Honey, so I can't show you a comparison with that, but several friends of mine do, and I've seen them write with it, so I know what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to paint with a nice yellow ochre, then this is great uh, for an ink, I mean. I mean, I have really nice yellow ochre, uh, watercolor and gunzai, so I don't think I would actually use this for painting, so this is going to bed. But at least somebody wants it, so that's great. Um, and then Pick Me Up is also scented, and that one smells like prune juice. See if this smells. No, scent is gone as well. So seriously, I really don't know what the scented inks are for other than being a total gimmick. But um, yeah, <laughs> there you go, I suppose. Um, the color is really, really nice. Um, it's a nice, deep, dark brown. And um, yeah, it has some shading to it. Uh, it doesn't smell bad, unlike spruce, which is terrible scent-wise. Um, yeah. Again, I have so many browns already that at this point I'm super picky. Had I not already owned so many browns, I would probably purchase uh, a big bottle. But as it stands, I already own browns, so I'm not buying this one. I'll probably paint with it though. Then um, Serendipity, um, yeah, it's this really dark teal bluish green thing with some red sheen to it and yeah it's just there's nothing bad to say about this quality wise but it's not my jam what is my jam however is the one orange only one why diamond the one orange ink flame it has really nice shading to it um yeah it's just a beautiful dark orange very tempted to buy this and give my pumpkin to one of my nieces because I don't need that many oranges and uh, I should really get rid of a couple that I don't use. But this, this I would use. And I feel like this is more like a true pumpkin orange than pumpkin is, but that aside, I, I love this. It's also really wet, so that is great. This one is also pretty wet. I like this, this color, Olive Swirl. It's just a really nice olive green and it has some ultra micro shiver to it and uh, yeah whatever um but yeah it's a really really nice color i uh i love this um if if i use it up before they uh actually release the full sizes i might purchase a full size otherwise i won't um but i might eventually silent night i would not purchase a full bottle because i'm not here for the blue life um, but uh, otherwise, it's a nice, stable ink. Um, there's nothing to say about it that is, you know, negative. Same thing with this guy. This, this I quite like because it's like this brighter blue. It's still not something I would write with, but this also makes me think of the... I have it quite nearby, I think. Here. This is like a darker version of their Florida blue. This is also a diamine ink. This is Beth's favorite ink. And he was immediately like, I like that Arctic blast. So I'm going to give him this one to my husband as well. This is a chameleon end sheen. There's a red sheen to it, but as you can see, it's not very noticeable. So there is that. But it's a really nice ink, has some nice shading as well. I, I really feel like they released this one for the people who like Florida Blue, but feel like that is a little bit too light and too azure and too, you know, 
popping. So um, yeah, this is this is definitely a nice, nice ink. And I can see how this would be very popular with students who have to write with blue in school as well, because it's just a really jolly blue. Now, Cozy Up is not a jolly color. I mean, for you, seriously, I mean, it's also Krampus Day. I, 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 for some reason, I don't see this and think Krampus or Yule. But um, it's also incredibly dry. It was such a struggle to even do this bit. Um, I will never, ever purchase this again. Um, like, if, if I have to buy it in whatever other format is just a big nope. Um, I don't actually see myself use this up. I, I, this is not even a color I paint with. So I will probably end up donating this for painting um, to one of my nieces. Um, Deck the Halls, another chameleon ink. And um, yeah, it's just this really, really deep purple, which um, you, can, you can just guess it by this point. I will paint with this. Same with Celebration. That was also really rather dry. Um, it's also not super exciting, but this is like the kind of salmon pink that actually comes in handy for painting from time to time. And this is a color I've been mixing a couple of times. So just having it is great. Sadly, it has a shiver. So that's a little bit dodgy for painting. But if I don't shake it up and just leave it be, I should be able to get the color out and not the shimmer. So that's great. Now, one more sleep I am really on the fence about because the second I swatched one more sleep, I thought to myself, this is extremely similar to a cold pens collab. As you can see, this is a, no, that was the wrong one. That's Nightshade, but it's quite similar to Nightshade. It's like a lighter version of Nightshade. And I believe Nightshade was in the Inkfend Green, no, Inkfend Red. I nearly said Inkfend Green, but I have this other blue by Diamine. Yeah, that's always a thing. Here we go. See? This is Bashful Blueberry. See how similar these guys are? I feel like this is like one tone darker than Bashful Blueberry and like one shade lighter than Nightshade. It's basically like Diamond sat there looking at all of the ink swatches and going like, what if we made this ink one, one tint darker, like one step darker than this guy and one step lighter than this guy? Yeah. Let's do it. Call it one more sleep, new ink, done. And then we're at the final ink. It's a, sh a chameleon and a sheen, if I'm not mistaken. But this is called uh, Best Wishes. It's a dark green, another dark green. At this point, I was so fed up with dark greens because I don't write with them. I mean, I don't need more dark greens. Of course, this is the infant green calendar and obviously, for the green, there's plenty of greens, so that's great. But did they all have to be dark greens that are very, very similar, you know? Um, but yeah, it's it's to me, this was an anticlimactic ending. Um, yeah, uh, it writes well enough. It has no scent, so it's not stinky like spruce. Um, yeah, it has a reddish sheen to it. It has a green sparkle to it. If this is your jam, then awesome. If not, well, it's a 30 milliliter bottle. So it's quite large already. Um, yeah, you can, you can see the sparkle in here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not hyped for it. <laughs> Will I use this? Um, probably for painting. So that's the thing. Um, I feel like if I were somebody who got these inks to write with, I would be disappointed because there's not many I want to write with. However, seeing I paint with ink as well, I'm not disappointed at all because most of these inks I will not necessarily often, but I will use to paint with, except for for spruce. Uh, spruce is just, it stinks so badly. I want nothing to do with it. It's, it's, it's just horrible. It is really, really horrible. Um, this gives me an actual headache. Um, the brown one doesn't, but that is, that is 
Dreadful. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that spruce. Diamine and never again use that scent in anything. Just don't. Uh, maybe just don't make scented things and go to making more multi-shaders. But yeah, um, for me, Inkfriend Green was a success because painting. Um, had it been for writing? No. Uh, I feel like there's... I mean, I don't even know all the dying mind colors. There's hundreds, literal hundreds. But I do feel that even from somebody who has a limited amount of diamine inks, uh, I do have, I would say a couple of dozen, but um, still that's a limited amount considering how many there are in total. I feel like there's a lot of inks that look like other diamine inks. Um, and yeah, or sail rings because Let's let's be fair, Ghost, like I said, it could be mistaken for a sail ring. Am I mad at it? No, because this is a standard ink, which means that it's going to be like 9, 10 euro stops um, for 50 milliliter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Yeah, for 50 milliliter, whereas a sailor ink is about 14, 15 euros for 20, 25. So uh, this will be much more cost efficient. And to be honest, I like this better. So... Yeah, this, this was my favorite. This was the highlight of my calendar. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but there's lots of colors I like. I, I love Memory Lane. I like Apple Teeny. It's so fun. Uh, Tree Kings is very pretty, although, I mean, if, if I didn't already own beautiful yellow ochres to paint with, I would have been like, I need a big bottle of this because I will use this so many times. So yeah, um, it's definitely not a waste of my money personally. But uh, I did still want to do this video and show you all the colors so you can decide for yourself if this is something you want to spend money on because this is quite expensive uh, at 90 euros and I've seen it priced a little bit less, a little bit more. So it kind of depends on where you get it. I got mine at Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery. Uh, in this, I bought it in person. Um, they still have some in stock, so... Um, that's, uh, if you live in Belgium, that's a good place to get yours. But they have them so many places. So this will not be hard to get. Um, and once the big bottles are released, they will not be hard to get either. Um, so yeah, they're also not limited editions. So that is also great. But yeah, that's it for today. That's everything I have to say about Inkvent Green. Let me know in the comments down below, is this something you would consider buying? Are you getting it? Um, how do you feel about an advent calendar like this? What did you think of the Inkvent Green, judging you know the inks as I've shown them to you? Uh, or are you opening a different kind of advent calendar? Let me know in the comments down below, because maybe I still want an actual advent calendar to open every single day during the month of December. That could be fun. So yeah, let me know what you are getting. Or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. I highly doubt there will be more Christmas content encroaching on Halloween. Unless my friend Claire drags me out to do Christmas shopping before Halloween, like she tends to do every year, uh, I might end up vlogging that. But normally there will not be more Christmas in the month of October. So yeah, there's that. Um, there will be more spooky stuff though. Um, hit that notification bell so YouTube hopefully actually tells you when I've uploaded a new video. Wouldn't that be great? There will be cats as soon as I stop talking. And yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye-bye.